What's up guys? Today we're going to go over the business intelligence interview. We're going to understand what the role is and what the skills are, what kind of example questions are going to be asked, and then we're going to go through and solve some of those questions. All right, what's the business intelligence role? A business intelligence role is about taking insights from complex data and displaying it to business focused professionals. These insights help to make a company more profitable, stay competitive, and solve business problems. Therefore, most of these business intelligence interviews really test your problem-solving abilities, your coding abilities, and how well you can communicate with other people. So there's a little bit of confusion between the two roles, between BI engineer and BI analyst. I would say mainly that there's not really a, a huge difference. Maybe the business intelligence engineer does a little bit more coding work, a little bit more ETL construction, a little bit more behind the scenes architecture, while the business intelligence analyst probably does a little bit more SQL queries and kind of data visualization as well as presentation to business holders. To be honest, there's not really a big difference between the two names. They're all gonna be under the umbrella of business intelligence and companies will name them differently just to because of the way that they wanna market them. For any business intelligence role, you can be expected to know the skills of Python, SQL, potentially some custom libraries in Python, and also some custom data visualization tools like Tableau, Microsoft Power BI. Lastly, the most important skill set that any business intelligence candidate needs is good communication and specifically technical communication. The business intelligence role is mostly going to support uh, the business focused side of the team with a lot of the data and technical day to day. And so a lot of that means translating kind of complex data requirements data insights into business strategies, case studies, and just layman terms that people can understand. I think it's pretty clear that an insight that can't be communicated helps no one. So what actually gets asked in a business intelligence interview? There are three main types of interview questions that get asked for business intelligence interviews. Definition-based business intelligence questions. These types of questions test your knowledge of specific BI concepts. So they might ask you about data warehousing, data architecture, what is benchmarking, explain the different types of data warehousing, stuff like that. Very much straightforward, kind of simple, Googleable terms. The second type of question is more scenario driven. So these kind of test more business case problems. They might be broad in scope and be like, what would you do if data was missing from a data warehouse? Or they might be a little bit more specific and ask you how you would handle three different types of you know, data models or specifically item types in a specific schema structure. The last type of interview question that gets asked is more coding and SQL based questions. They're gonna test your basic Python or SQL skills and understand if you can pass the technical bar. Let's go over some definition-based business intelligence questions first. As we said before, these might be pretty broad or pretty specific. Most of the times they're about kind of just general definitions that a hiring manager will call you about so they know that, that you're not faking your resume. For example, what is OLAP? OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing. It's software that's used for conducting multi-dimensional analysis on large amounts of data from a data warehouse. For example, a business's data warehouse typically has data stored on tables. OLAP allows you to extract data from multiple data sets and then reorganize it into multi-dimension format for faster processing analysis. What are facts and dimension tables? So in data warehousing, a fact table consists of dimension keys and numerical values of a business process. A fact table contains quantitative data that's used for analysis Dimension tables, on the other hand, are dictionary tables that provide information about how the data in the fact table can be analyzed. Why is data normalization useful? Data normalization is a process of organizing data to appear similar across all records and fields. There are many benefits to data normalization. For example, the process helps to remove duplicate data and helps to maintain referential integrity. One thing to note is that for questions like these, you don't need to give them your dissertation, just a few highlights and kind of broad based points is good enough. Awesome, now let's dive into business case questions. So business case questions we've covered in the past, you can watch this video here, but essentially what they are is that they focus around a specific case scenario and they're asking you to just kind of conversationally come up with different ways that you would manage it using your business intelligence, SQL, and just case problem skills. So sometimes they're gonna be a little bit more open-ended. So our first question is something like, tell me a time when you failed on a project, right? And so for these kinds of open-ended questions, these are more behavioral-based questions. 
essentially the interviewer is trying to understand your experience level, understand if you can come up with framework and a past way that you actually came up to solve you know, problem when you actually failed with the team, lay out the specifics of the problem you faced and your initial assumptions, and then what you actually took to the final solution, exactly you know, how you failed and what you learned from that process. All right, question two. Say you're running an e-commerce website, you wanna get rid of duplicate products that may be listed under different sellers, names, and a very large database. For example, Apple iPhone 10. how would you go about doing this? This is also another example question of exactly how you would tackle you know, structuring different items in a very different schema. And so to just check out this case question, just watch this video right here as well. Let's say at Netflix, we offer a subscription where customers can enroll for a 30 day free trial. After 30 days, those customers will be automatically charged based on their package selected. Let's say we wanna measure the success of acquiring new users to the free trial. How can we measure acquisition success and what metrics can we use to measure the success of a free trial? Again, this is another business case question, really just trying to understand your problem solving ability. Lastly, we'll jump into business intelligence coding questions. So these questions are gonna be either SQL or Python. You're definitely gonna see a lot of SQL questions and these SQL questions are gonna be way more focused on the ETL bits. So this means removing duplicate rows or creating an ETL from an analytics database into a production database, right? Or making analytics queries so that you can showcase reports and, reports and metrics for end consumers in a dashboard. So for example, let's take this one question, right? Let's say that we have a table representing a company payroll schema. Due to an ETL error, the, the employee's table did an insert instead of updating the salaries every year when doing compensation adjustments. The head of HR still needs the current salary of each employee. Write a query to get the current salary for each employee. Assume no duplicate combinations of first and last names. So you can try this question out on interview query, just giving you a hint. You're gonna have to do a sub query here, right? If we wanna get rid of duplicates a lot of the times, we have to find the first result and join it to itself to the same table. Write a query to show the number of users, number of transactions placed, and the total order amount per month in the year 2020. Assume that we are only interested in the monthly reports for a single year, January to December. So for this question, a lot of it is gonna be focused around creating a report. And so this is much more of those reporting metrics types of questions that we discussed. The question is also commonly asked in the Amazon business intelligence interview. We're given two tables, one is named projects and the other maps employees to the projects they're working on. Write a query to get the top five most expensive projects by budget to employee count ratio. So a little hint here, we cited the count distinct in our transactions table to generate our number of monthly customers, but then we probably have to do a join. Now moving on to Python questions, given a list of timestamps in sequential order, return a list of lists grouped by week, seven days, using the first timestamp as a starting point. So this kind of sounds like a SQL question, but it's actually a Python question, and you'll see this come up a lot for business intelligence uh, interviews. A lot of the times they actually won't require you to know that much Python, but as a standard basis, I would say that in case you're working at a startup, they need a little bit more data engineering, you're gonna have to do a little bit of Python coding, which is not bad. A little bit of Python doesn't hurt. Now, let's say you have a table with a billion rows. How would you add a column inserting data from the original source without affecting the user experience? This is back to kind of SQL database architecture stuff. If you wanna see this question, also just watch this video where I go over it with my friend. Awesome, I hope this video helped. Um, if you guys have any more questions or wanna check out more interview questions, please just check out Interview Query. This is the one resource I provide so that everyone can just be prepared for their interviews. If you wanna check out some company guides, some popular business intelligence roles, you know, check out the link in the description where we have you know, business intelligence roles for Google, Amazon, Facebook, all these top you know, Fang, Moolah companies that are hiring and it's kind of like what kind of questions they're asking. So. Thanks again, everyone, and I'll talk to you guys later. Please like and subscribe.